really fun. It uses a nice little kind of a hand claw kind of strumming technique. So I'm going to break that down for you. We're going to take a G chord. I'm playing it with the ring finger, middle finger, and pinky. And the reason for that is the next chord is a C chord. And it, the fingers are all ready to go. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use our thumb and go like this. And so what's happening is after I hit down on that with my three fingers, you know, index, middle, ring, I am playing, I'm kind of plucking up like a claw, and it's the D, G, and B strings. So what you want to practice is this kind of thing. So the down, if your arm's just going down, up, down, up, down, up, the down is the bass note, and then on the way up, I'm pulling off those strings. That's a great start, right? You should actually play the whole song just with this technique. You can play this lead in note from the G. With the C chord, we're going to do that same rhythm, but the bass note's going to be on the A string now. But this little cluster is the same. See that? And there's always a lead in note when it goes back to G is the open A. Don't worry, I'm going to get fancier with it as we go. We go to a D chord. We're going to bass thumb on this D string here, and then with those three fingers, we're going to hit the top strings, the E, B, and G. So here's the next thing to, to spice that up. You're doing the... Just like that. Here's a good thing to start doing, is alternate between the low E and the A string on that. And it would look like this. Watch my hand here. This is just a G chord. But now we're going to do the fanciest way. It starts exactly like we already did. But then when we hit this A string, the middle finger's open and we hammer down on it like this. Get my ring, fat ring finger out of the way. And once you hammer that, you do that. So it's almost the same thing I taught you before, but we're hammering that instead of. We're now going. 